G'day everyone, mates in gold, doing our Scottish tour 2015. And we've met a guy who is the expert tanner up here in Helmsdale. And he's taken us up to a small wee burren up in the hills. And he's gonna show us how to pan properly. And we're gonna see if we can find any gold. Cheers. Dave, now, before you start there, you're going to tell us a little bit how we go about this, are you? Yes, indeed. Uh, the gold in the stream, of course, is the heaviest element. So you should try and get down as deep as you possibly can. Yeah, yeah. You know? uh, All the lower points in the stream, that's what we mean, in the burn. Absolutely. Yep. Yep. Uh, if you can lift it with a spade, good. If not, a suction pump comes in very handy. Right, well if you can give us a demo, uh, Dave, yep. see how we go. Well, as we can see, it's not uh, a real hard process at this stage. No, no, it's just a little bit knacky. When you think you've got enough gravel, yeah, go. is that looking good there like that? That looks reasonable. Right, well, we're now going to zoom in on uh, Dave here and show his panning technique. Right, so, under the water, keep it under the water. What you've got in your seven, you can give that a good wash, just check there are no. Large nuggets. No large ones? No, Nothing no large ones. So I think we can go. off with that. Then your pan, the first thing, again under the water, move it about. As you move that about, any heavy elements in that pan will sink to the bottom. And when you're happy that they'll be down there, yep. tilt the pan forward. And let the lighter one slide over the edge, yeah. yeah? We use these riffles here. Assuming the gold is in the bottom of the pan, that should help to keep up the gold in the pan. Yep. So, just a matter of throw that thing forward, let the, the lighter stuff slide out. Yep. So as long as you keep that moving, the gold should stay down. Back, forward. Beautiful. You don't need to be afraid. If you move that, the gold should go to the bottom. Well, let's hope so, mate. Yeah, absolutely. And you keep it like that. My preference is when I get down to uh, a certain amount, a little bit left in the pan. Yeah. I turn it completely round. Oh, yeah. You've I done this before, haven't you? Uh, once or twice, and I wash the gravel down to the smooth edge of the pan. Right. And then continue. I think it's a little more control. Just trying to get rid of the light and stuff. It's both light in colour yep. and light in weight. The heavier stuff will be at the bottom. Right. And Starting to get down to the bottom now, aren't we? Yeah. We are getting close now. You can see it, and there are a number of little garnets as well as gold uh, in this. I can already see the garnets appearing. Yeah, I can see them, yeah. Okay. And you just oh, continue. I can see a bit of gold here, too. Yeah, yeah. there's a little bit of gold appearing at the corners there. Just, it's a painstakingly slow oh, yeah. thing, but you've got to be careful to make sure you retain the gold. And if there are, you see some stones, keep some water in the pan and lightly push them through it. Yeah. You can put it in there.
G'day everyone. Well, mates and gold have finished another really nice day out on the burn. Dave Gray here has just done us proud. We've got a nice little pan of gold and um, we just want to let you know that anyone that comes to Scotland and especially up to Helmsdale, they need to get in contact with Dave and um, he will take them out for the best panning day they will ever have. The, um, the other thing that you need to know is if you want somewhere to stay, the Bannock Burn Inn is the place. Uh, just give them a ring and um, the food is beautiful, cheap, very fair priced and a great lot of people in the front bay, you're always going to have a good time. Yeah, so just give Alison a call and um, tell them we sent you and she'll give you a good deal. Yeah, all done. Catch you later. Bye now.